Now to our investigation into the scandal involving used cars from Japan with odometers wound back thousands of kilometres. The vehicles have been sold in Australia to unsuspecting buyers. This is Nick. This is Nick, yeah. Hey, Nick, Ben from uh, Current Affair at Channel 9. He deceived me, he betrayed me. Are you winding back the speedos on the cars that you sell? No, absolutely not. What are you going to do? You sold me a dodgy car. I was angry. I was furious. I was like, hell no, you ain't going to get away with that. Why are you back in court again today? Have you been slashing K's off cars? I'm gutted. I just, just the amount of money, I just, I just can't sort of fathom why a dealership would do that. Don't play games. I'll take you outside, bro. Don't trying, play, play games. No, 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 you're no, lying. No. Well, if you're not doing it, who is? Well, I really can't answer you then. I really would like a refund because it's not what I paid for. It's sneaky, dishonest, and it's downright dangerous. What was the odometer reading when you bought the car? It was 54,909. And what was the true reading? 165,000 kilometres. So it had been wound back more than 100,000 k's. Correct, yeah. You thought I can't find out. You thought I'm dumb. Tonight, we meet the innocent victims of a speedo windback scam and the salesman who insists he didn't know anything about it. And I can assure you that no, we are not tampering with odometers whatsoever. And we track down a mechanic responsible for one of the biggest speedo rorts in Australia. You slashed four million k's. That was years ago. Cars. And they at the call end you of the day, four million kilometer yeah. man. Like, you like have I said, to save yourself. And we'll show you how you can avoid being caught in the tampering trap. You've got to take into account that there is tampering in the industry. It is rife. From the moment Andrew saw this hotted up second-hand imported Japanese car, he just had to have it. When I found this one in the showroom, I go, oh, OK, that, that, looks, that looks pretty weird. I've never seen a black one. He goes, that's what's in the showroom. Andrew was at Sports Auto Group. The salesman, Nick Agar. He said to me, look, take it away. If you're not happy, I'll give you back your money and I'll fix whatever you need fixing. So Andrew traded in his old car for $18,000 and paid an extra eight grand cash. Without realising it, he'd just bought himself a whole lot of trouble. It's the gearbox, it's the diff, the engine, the clutch. It's, I mean, the tyres he told me that were brand new. We got them checked by MRT. They're more than six years old, these tyres. A mechanic has now told Andrew the car needs $7,000 in repairs, and that's not all. But look at the gap there. And if you look over here, look at the gap here. Oh, God. That tells me this boot's come off. It's yes. come off for a reason. The car's had a hit. Yep. It's definitely had a hit. So it's had a prank. Andrew took the car back to Nick, who arranged for repairs to be done. But suspicious about the car's history, Andrew went online a Japanese odometer check, a service that claims to be able to provide the original registration papers of a second-hand imported car for a fee. According to the papers provided by the service, the odometer reading on Andrew's car was 189,400 kilometres in 2011 when it was deregistered in Japan, somewhere between Japan and when it finally arrived at the Sports Auto Group showroom someone had wound the speedo back to just 65,080. That's a whopping 120,000 kilometre difference. Oh, I was angry. I was furious. When, when I got that, and I was like, hell no, you ain't going to get away with that. Do you accept that, that you have sold cars with wound back speedos? OK, are we talking about our company that we're running here, or are we talking about previous companies and previous owners? Because there's two completely separate issues. Nick Agar says it's not his fault because when Andrew bought the car, he was just a salesperson. And that's true. At the time, Sports Auto Group was owned by a company called All Imports Australia, which has since gone into administration. Sports Auto Group is now owned by a different company called DBN Holdings. And Nick is now not only one of their salespeople, he's also one of the new company's directors. Don't you think you should know if a, if a car um, has its speedo wound back? So, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me, yeah, as a salesperson, right, I'm personally supposed to go and do a check on this car to make sure that it's OK? Yes. That's your job, yeah. yes. Your Can you understand up? why Andrew was so upset? Oh, absolutely. His car had been wound back more than 100,000 k's. Yes, if that's the case, absolutely. Of course you can understand why he's going to be upset. I checked online, 
it came back with an astonishing 165,000 kilometres when it was sold in Japan. As it turns out, Andrew isn't the only one. Tim Porter also bought a car from Nick Agar when Sports Auto Group was run by its previous owners. He too went on Japanese odometer check, which says the car has been wound back 110,000 kilometres. I felt betrayed because I bought something that I expected to be of a good quality and, and like the real kilometres and now I've come back with a car that's worth, I guess, and it's nearly, it's worthless now. I can't actually sell it because it's been wound back. So I've lost, yeah, $14,000 pretty much. So that's two cases where you've sold a car to customers that have had wound back speedos. Are you just an unlucky salesperson? Once again, Nick says he's not to blame, and it's true. Legally, there's only so much digging that dealers have to do into the history of the cars that they sell. So unless you want to do the checks yourself and pay for them, there's no way of knowing for certain if the car that you're buying has had its odometer wound back. You were the person who, who sold these guys their car. What responsibility do you take for the mess that they now find themselves in? Well, I can sympathise with them and s understand why they're upset, but from, from a point of view, as a salesperson, I was employed to get the car, prepare the car and sell the car, and that's what I've done. Well, let me ask you a question then, Nick. Can you assure me that there are no other cars in this yard right now that haven't got wound back speedos? As a director of this new company, yes, I can. You because can assure I me... have personally checked out and got all the documents for all the stock that is held under the new company. And you yes. are confident, as a director of this company, that there are no cars, yes. we won't find any cars 100%. in this lot? 100%. Nick is so confident, he offers us the opportunity to do an audit on all the cars he now has on sale. But we'd already done some digging, and as you'll see a bit later, what we find surprises even him. Paul David Smith, we just want to talk to you. I'm Jenna from A Current Affair. You've been caught winding back odometers in the past. Are you at it again? Meet Queensland's four million kilometre man. That's how many Ks Paul David Smith has wound back on dozens of cars that he's later sold to unsuspecting buyers. Reporter Jenna Hudson tracked him down. Are you winding back kilometres off cars? Are you slashing them and selling them at a more expensive cost? It's just a whole um, conglomeration of deceit, and I would describe him as just being deceitful. Despite being busted before, Queensland Consumer Affairs has now launched a new investigation into alleged odometer tampering by Paul Smith. Steve Labarro from Consumer Affairs says the practice is not only deceitful, but also dangerous. A person who tampers with an odometer might make a couple of extra hundred or thousand dollars um, out of a car but potentially put someone's life at risk by making the vehicle appear to be younger than what it is. But back to Nick Agar at Sports Auto Group. We did a search with Japanese odometer check on 10 of the cars he has for sale and guess what? Two have come back with suspect speedos. First one here is the uh, Nissan Skyline. You've got it for sale for with 59,000 on the clock. We've done a check and it's done 155,000. Then you've got the Evo here. You've got it for sale for 67,000 clicks. It's actually done 120,000. Nick isn't sure about the reliability of our checks, but says while he does his own investigating, he's taken the two cars off the market. What guarantee can you now give customers that the cars you're selling them have not had their odometers tampered with? We're looking to now put something in place to make sure the cars are checked before they leave Japan and uh, we're also putting something in place to make sure that all the cars that are getting sold will have a kilometre guarantee on them. Sports Auto Group says it will now do something that no other dealer does. It's promising to refund any customer who finds the odometer on their car has been wound back. Unfortunately, it's all too late for Tim and Andrew because when they bought their car from here, it was run by the previous owners. You've got to pull something out of your hat. You've got to do something. Okay. So I'm, not going to like? leave, I'm not going to leave you alone. What would you like? I want compensation. Motoring expert Sam Stevens has this advice. Get the car looked over by a qualified mechanic. Make sure you have the correct papers. Do the overseas uh, odometer check. Make sure everything is done before you hand over your hard-earned money. He's treating me like an idiot. That's one thing I can't handle. Don't treat me like an idiot. I'm not stupid. Well, Nick Agar says he's now trying to help both Andrew and Tim get a satisfactory resolution.